way you work it. Uh, uh, but, 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 but. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> it's a big day. Today is the day. Today is the day. What do you think the best? What do you think the best England song is? Mm. I don't know. Probably Vindaloo. Vindaloo. Probably. It's very British. It's very British. Mm. I just don't understand Vindaloo. That's what makes it British. It's like, <laughs> it's just nonsense. It's gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever put up the lyrics? Of me and me, mum and me, dad and me, it's gibberish. That's the whole point. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 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 so. Um, <laughs> Shut up. It's the epitome it's the of ep- British culture. It's the epitome of on your way to the pub with your family, you're drunk, and you're just shouting out random yeah, It's just gibberish. Songs. It's absolute nonsense. <laughs> well, that's why it's perfect. It's perfect for um for British culture, I think. Yeah. Um, I didn't realise, like I always knew, but I think in the past week... Or since Wednesday, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't quite realize like British people were not liked that much abroad. Mm. Like we're really not liked. I always knew football fans weren't liked because England fans act a certain way when they're abroad. It's that whole like hooligan image, etc. Yeah. And but I just think like no one wants us to win the Euros. I know. Don't get me wrong. Like I get it. Obviously, it's it's nation against nation and whatever. But I just feel like England is probably the closest it's been as a country since I've been alive. Mm. As a nation, this is the closest we've been since I've been alive. In terms of just seeing the togetherness, videos, yeah, love for each other, admiration for the team. This is the most I've ever seen the country together. Ever. Mm. Um, obviously, the last time the country was obviously like buzzing in terms of football was 1996 when we made it to the semi final, but we got knocked out. So, obviously, that was the year we were fucking born. So, I can't remember that. But yeah, I would say we're not, I don't think we'll experience this again mm. in our lifetimes. I feel like we are just being 25. Again. No. 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 Why? Because England reaching a final is one thing. But it's England are in a final of the major tournament at home in Wembley. Mm. That doesn't... Even... Okay, England reaching the final again might not happen in, in our lifetime. You know, it took 55 years or however fucking long it took mm. to get here. So, you know, 55 year wait. 55 years from now, Lawrence, we're 80 if we're still alive. You know, that's that's not a joke. That's a fucking big thing. 55 years. Mm. So that's why I, I really need people to understand. I'm obviously like really like, you know, passionate football fans understand why it's so like once in a lifetime because it is. But I think like people that maybe don't follow football, a way to put it is like for a football fan, it's, it's lottery. Mm. It's the lottery. Because it's not like England cricket team or England rugby team because, you know, they, they've not gone 55 years without winning something, you know? They're very, you know, they're very top, top, top level in their respective sports. Mm. English rugby, English cricket, very, very, very good. You, you, you almost, you know they're competing every tournament. You expect them to be Yeah, you expect. Yeah. You expect them to be there or thereabouts. With England, regardless of the football teams we've had in the past, you never quite know what you're going to get. So it's once in a lifetime shit today. And we'll look back on this moment, this podcast, and we'll know exactly what we were doing. We'll know exactly the build up. We'll be listening. You know? Yeah. 
regardless winning or losing, we'll we'll know. We'll know what 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 we did because we'll have this to come back to. But yeah, I've just been thinking all week about um about moments in history. I always used to think every single tournament that came around and we'd go out. I always used to think, Jesus Christ! Like, imagine if you were actually there in nineteen sixty six, and you know when England won it and whatever. And I yeah. always used to think like you would just look back on the olden days and you look at it as the olden days because you're not alive. But yeah. I bet it was absolute carnage. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. we look back on stuff sometimes and we might go, oh, yeah, no, I might not have been that crazy because, you know, we weren't there and you obviously try and downplay things you weren't in attendance at. But when I actually think about it and I think, Jesus, that... And you know what else I think insane. is mad is that most people during that game would have been listening on the radio. Mm. Like they wouldn't even been watching it. Mm. <laughs> How crazy is that? Like all people in like a pub or in their homes just gathered around this one little radio listening to the outcome of this game. <laughs> like This is what I mean. Never have we been so closely connected as a country oh, until today. It's scary. Because we've now got the technology, the social media, the live, the this, the that. Like we can all be in the same practically mm. the same room. But that's what's so scary about it, bro. That's what's so scary about it. It's not the fact of get me wrong. If England were in a final in 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 any country, that the the the, the, the I don't I still don't think the country would be too much different in terms of people being out and about and celebrating and whatever. Mm. But the fact that it's in England, the team are in England, it's frightening. It's frightening. Yeah. It's. It's shit you dream about. As a football fan, it doesn't get any it's better. It's dreamy, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's stuff you dream about. It's um, it's once in a lifetime. Yeah, Every yeah. single tournament, I say, oh, imagine if we get there. Not win it, just it's, get there. It's a fantasy. Get to the final. <laughs> yeah. Get to the final because that's it now. It's 50-50. Mm. And I think that's what's so scary about it is the fact that we could we could win it. Mm. There's no... um, There's no barrier left. Mm. We could win it. That's it. There's no sort of, oh, yeah, but we just have to get through that game. Yeah. And, oh, you know, I'm not getting my hopes up. And yeah. That's yeah. it. There's, there's never going to be a better moment. The team's fantastic. The manager's amazing. There's the togetherness amongst the England players. That's it. The moment's now. And I think, like, I'm just, I think all week, um, I've just been trying to take it in. And just, even today, I've just been trying to just... To just really appreciate it for what it is because it is such a it's such a rarity. I mean to go fifty five years without reaching a final within itself is just shocking. But these tournaments are only every two years. That's the reality. They're only every two years. So we've met what, there's been twenty seven tournaments since we've left one it there or thereabouts. Twenty seven. That's not a lot. Mm. You know? That's twenty seven opportunities to get to a final, but mm. Some of the teams we've competed against in those 27 tournaments have been some unbelievable teams. And that's why it's so beautiful and it's so rare because you have no idea the next time. Who are you going to come up against? Oh, yeah. you have no idea. Mm. Obviously, World Cup next year. And then it's like, it just gives you that. It's just like a, it's like a buzz you can't really explain. It's like a buzz. And it's so hard to compare because it's like, I can't think of anything else in life you'd wait 55 years for. Like, imagine waiting 55 years to, like, go and see, like, your your, your favourite musician. Mm. You had to wait, like, 55 years for it. It just wouldn't happen, would it? Yeah. It's not possible. You just wouldn't wait 55 years. Yeah. Because if you really, really wanted to, you'd, you you'd get it, a yeah. ticket. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? It isn't... It's, it's not like that. Yeah. It's not like that. Do you know what I mean? So, like, this is really just, yeah. No, uh, football fans today, man, they're going to be in, they're going to be in dreamland. They're going to be in dreamland. Um, Were you nervous last night? No, not really, bro. I was nervous about reaching it. I always said I was more nervous in the semi-final Mm. than today because we're here, bro. And I understand that it isn't, because it's not a guaranteed. Mm. I'm trying not to play it up in my head. Because, again, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be here. So, for me, I'm approaching it just as a a game. And, of course, I want to win. But I'll enjoy today more than I enjoy Wednesday. Wednesday, I was shitting it. I was nervous as fuck. (laughs) Yeah, I was really nervous Wednesday. Because 
it's the dream. Yeah. England reaching the final for the first time in yeah. England <laughs> yeah. in your lifetime. So, yeah, I think today, mate, it's just going to be about us sitting around um, and really just taking it all in. Um, obviously, it's going to be a buzzing atmosphere. It's going to be such a togetherness um, amongst everyone at the pub and right up until like the team gets announced to... Uh, to singing, to chanting, to dancing. It honestly is, bro, just about taking it in. And I think regardless when it ends, win or lose, I'll be emotional because it's what we've been provided with. Yeah. We've been really, like, I, I feel, like, spoiled. Mm. This is for me. Like I feel, yeah. like, spoiled. Like, this is better than any birthday or any uh, Christmas Day present or... It is honestly just a, it's a, it's a football fan's dream. Mm. It really is, mate. So, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna try and chill out, man, as as much as I can. Obviously, when the game starts, I'll be shouting and chanting, obviously. But I feel like before and in the lead up to it, it's just knowing that I, this is such a huge moment, and I want to know, I want to remember it. Mm. I want to be able to tell it. Yeah. In 25 years, 30 yeah. years, that you know, this is where I was. This mm. is where I watched it. This is who I was with. This is what I did on the day of. This is how I sort of prepped for it because, as I've said, it ain't. Yeah, it ain't gonna. <laughs> it's not gonna come back around uh, quickly. Or I, I hope it does, but nah, I can't see it happening. So you were uh, really got to just make most of of, um, of these moments, man. Really try and take it all in and uh, appreciate it. That's it. That's all you can do, man. Um, because that's it. The work's done now. Mm. We're in the final. That's it. Yeah. One game. It's 50-50. It's a coin toss. That is it. But, um, obviously, for someone that doesn't follow football as much, obviously, you're watching on Wednesday. What was it? What was it like for you watching? Even okay, even when tournaments come around in general, major tournaments, what's it like for you? Football tournaments. Yeah. So, like for example, start of this tournament. Well, come I try around. and I try and think like, you know, I don't follow football mm. general season mm. football. Like, I don't don't follow Premier League championship. Yeah. Like, I used to watch Burton Albion most seasons, yeah. or you know, probably fifty percent of their home games I'd watch. Yeah. So I've always known. I've always been around football yeah. all my life. I've always been there. Local team, England. And I was thinking today, like, it is mad how much I've been involved in the run-up to the Euros and how much mm. I've watched them for saying I'm not a football fan. Like, mm. It's quite strange when I think about it. Mm. But then when I do actually think about it, it's like, well, I've watched every single England tournament mm. ever since I can remember. Mm. Like, I've always, regardless, whether it's World Cup, mm. Euros, watched them every single game. Mm. I've never once, you know, not wanted to watch them. But I, mm. I think that's just because it's... It's a sport I'm interested in mm. when it's obviously national and when it's, you know, when it's providing so much. Like you just said there, I couldn't mm. have said it better. It's, it's providing an energy that you would never normally get. It's completely abnormal for everyone to be so together and to be on the same page and to be rooting for the same outcome of something. 100%. Regardless of whether it's competitive and it's a sport and it's, in some people's opinions, a, a sport that's, you know, whatever materialistic or anything like that like it's it's a at the end of the day it's a togetherness that nothing ever could provide not not like this not on such a large scale mm. like I don't, I don't know what could be compared to it ever what, what, what could even come close well that's the thing it's not um it's the most spot it's the most watched sport in the world Mm. That's the thing. So it's another thing trying to explain to people. You're not, you're not going to get anything like it because there, there, there is nothing like it. Mm. There is nothing like football. It's the most popular sport mm. ever, and it always will be. It just is. It's mm. that sport. So I always think it's hard. Not how do you not get involved in it? Because I know there'd be loads of people. They only watch. They only watch football when the the big tournaments come around because. Yeah. How how can, how can you, you not? not? Yeah. How can you not yeah. watch it? I don't understand. Yeah. Like, if I wasn't a football fan, and let's say cricket or rugby was the most popular sport in the world, 
course you'd watch it. <laughs> I'd be here right now. Yeah. Situation reversed. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would be here. Yeah. Like, why? Because yeah. I'd, I'd want to be part of it. It's not just about, yeah, you're supporting the nation and obviously, you know, uh, being patriotic and all that shit. It's about, I want to be part of it because it's it's a moment. Yeah, that you'll never. It's just a moment you're never, never gonna. And to top it off, like regardless of everything else, the year that we've had, the sixteen mm. months that we've had, to top it off with this is like, yeah. it is, it's unthinkable. Yeah, unthinkable whatsoever. Especially with how divided we've been as a country in terms of politics and you know everything else that's happened in the last sixteen months. It's just like. You couldn't have dreamt it to get this far. You couldn't have dreamt of something to bring us so closely together. And that's why it's so good to see, like, I can't... You could never, ever fault anyone who's not into football for wanting to be a part of it because mm. it could be... Like I say, it could be any other sport. It could be any other situation. It could be ballet or anything. Mm. Mm. If it was that big and it was that, you know, prominent in your country, why yeah. wouldn't you want no, it? you would. Why wouldn't you want to be you would. Why wouldn't you want to be there with people? And that's Celebrate. the thing. That's the thing as well. We're English. Mm. It's football. Yeah. yeah. It's football. Yeah. So, again, there's just nothing. It's football. It's our, it's our bread and butter. We're mm. English. And yeah. this is why I was talking to you about sort of just growing up in England. And obviously people have different views on what it means to be British and whatever and whatnot. But the, it doesn't, as an, just an, as an Englishman, it doesn't get, it just doesn't get better. Mm. It doesn't get better. It doesn't get... I'm, I'm trying to think about all those people that are going to be watching with the dads and um, the granddads and, you know, those people that have become sort of new new fathers. And, and the reason I am singling out men, because obviously it is a predominantly watched sport by yeah. men, obviously. And I'm trying to think about just what it means to them. Because men who love sport, we all had relatives that maybe were alive when England last won it. But a lot of us have relatives that are, are, are no longer alive because, yeah. as I've said, 55 years is a long time. Yeah. My grandparents would have been alive during it. Mm. I didn't know if they'd come over from Jamaica yet or whether they were living in the country yet. I, I assume they were. Um, but it's like, whoa. Whoa, mm. you know? There aren't going to be many people alive today mm. that witness both. And when I say witnessed, I mean were were active in terms of like they witnessed it. Yeah. You know, let's yeah. say you were 15 the last time England won it and now you're 70. Mm. That's a crazy thing. Yeah. You told me the other day, your, how old was I your dad? I said he was 11 or something or like some that. Or some shit. He says he remembers the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I believe him, though. No. Who are we no, to say? Who are, who are we to say, you though? I do not was? remember you when you were 11. <laughs> how did he say it, though? That's how you know. <laughs> how did he say it? I think he said he... Uh, oh, what did he say? Oh, I can't remember. I remember saying something stupid like he, he went out and he... Like, went out with his mum and dad and had a meal and then watched it at the pub or something like that. And it was one of the first, like, first families in the village that mm. had a TV, so they invited loads of people or something like that. It's just like, how can you remember that? You're 11 years old. There's no but, way. <laughs> bro, I don't know, you know. Because well, for saying it was that big, I think it's possible that people can remember that age. Mm. But you can't you can't really remember. Do you know what I mean? You can't know. remember the day. You can't really remember something happening. Mm thing is though bro 55 years from now are we gonna remember it mm, i hope so well we've got this so we, well, yeah, we will. we'll always have yeah and we've got videos and stuff that they didn't yeah. have then as well but i just feel like i feel like because it only happened once for some people obviously apart from today so for your dad i feel like because it is such a once in a lifetime thing, I always feel like, would you forget it? You, I mean, you obviously in, naturally you remember stuff in life that happens. That's obviously really important to you because you know the the, the rarity of the moment. Mm. So I feel like this whole day, especially us going on to win in it, if we do, 
I just don't know how I'll ever forget it. Mm. Ever. Like, I feel like even as someone that's, regardless of me being a football fan, just as just remembering where you were, I feel like the whole country stopped, mate. Mm. I feel like the whole country. Like, yeah. what are people doing today that yeah. like, aren't yeah. watching football? Yeah, well, I was speaking to someone yesterday and they were saying, like, all the cops are going to shut at like seven o'clock. Yeah. As well. Like every cop yeah. in the country is going to shut. Some takeaways are shut They don't even shut on Christmas Day. Yeah. Do they? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, they're shut. That it. shows you how yeah. much of a big thing. Yeah. Like seven o'clock, that's it. Boom. Yeah. Um, I saw earlier bloody ba- <laughs> Bantai shutting. Yeah. <laughs> at eight o'clock. <laughs> they're like, yeah, we're taking no orders yeah. after eight o'clock. Good. We're closing. Good. But Everyone I just feel shut. like. Just enjoy yourself. Even the bars. Last oh, orders at crazy. half by seven. That's crazy. Get a load in and that's it. Like, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the togetherness. Because that's, like I say, nothing could compare. No Christmas, mm. no, like, political agenda, anything. I think probably the, the probably the, the most closest thing, or next closest thing, might be, like, the US election. Do you know what I mean? Like, how big that is for people in America. Mm. Rooting for that one person, like. But even still, that's not, mm. that's not togetherness, because it's still very... It's not togetherness. And divided also, within the whole country. It's about, for me, it's about how often. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every four years there's going to be an election. Yeah. With me, we could very realistically mm. die after today and not see another mm. final with England in it. That's how scary it is to me. The fact that I could not see this again in my lifetime. And that's a frightening. And I think that's probably deep down is where the emotion will come from because it's like, shit, like, this was not guaranteed yeah. for, for me to happen. This was like, I'm just so glad I'm alive yeah. at this point during my life. Yeah. And that is honestly how I feel. It's like, I feel blessed and lucky to like, yeah. oh, I'm going to witness this yeah. in my mid-20s. Yeah, like, nah, there's right. no better time. Yeah. There's no better time to witness it, mate. Like, yeah. I'm trying to think about my obviously my, my my nephews and nieces and stuff, and they're not going to be able to take in the moment, yeah, you know. And if yeah, we win it, yeah. they'll be what we'll be like. Yeah. Where we're like, oh, I can't really remember what's uh, yeah. going on, or whatever. <laughs> but they're not even going to be able to. Even me being like, even if I was ten, eleven, mm. yeah, I'm football mad, and again, I'd be able to like, I'd be able to take it in because I remember tournaments from that age, and I remember being emotional, and I do remember them well. But it isn't the same mm. watching it at the pub. Being Larry, being around the atmosphere, it's not gonna, yeah, it's uh, it ain't gonna be repeated, man. And that's another thing, bro. It's not just about, uh, it's not just about the fact that it's so rare. It's, it's the fact of like, if we do get to another final, it's the moment we're in. You yeah. said earlier, after the year and a half we've had, it's it's all of it together. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because regardless of what people want to say, we're, t- we're still in lockdown. Yeah. Things aren't fucking fully open yet. Yeah. So I think just the whole scenario, it's never going to happen again. Mm. It's never going to be repeated again, ever. Mm. It's, never, it's, it's not going to happen. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing, man. And again, I just feel blessed. I just feel blessed to be part of it. Um, the, gonna, the fact I'm going to be able to watch it with friends, with family... Mm with loved ones. Um, and even this, even the fact that like, we'll, we'll be able to look back on this conversation. Mm. I'm just feel very like, just, yeah, I just feel very lucky, very lucky to be in the position I am. And uh, yeah, just be able to just really, really take in and enjoy the whole moment, man. Cause it's, it's unbelievably so, rare. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable! You're like your parents are watching it in Spain, aren't they? Yeah, Jesus. watching it in Menorca, That's yeah. mad. Yeah, that's mad. What do yeah. you think it's like over there? Have they said like are there are a lot of English over there at the minute? Um, well, the resort they're in, there's I think there's quite a lot of English in there. Mm. Yeah, um, I think they've got quite a good place to watch it. But yeah, obviously, again, around the world, it's a it's a one of the global like yeah. global's biggest sport to watch so every tv every every bar every sports bar will have this on mm. and there will be people there watching it i mean even uh you know, michaela's like showing me a uh, girl i know is in america at the minute she's showing me like mm. videos of them watching it in mm. sports bars oh, can imagine. it's like can imagine it's just a mad atmosphere over there I can never imagine. mind here 
And I don't know if you've seen the videos of like streets in London today, but yeah, it's I've just seen. Unbelievable, like no, I've seen. I saw one clip where a guy had a flare up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that is not good. Like, you know when I say British culture, bro. Like, I can it's see like, why people don't like. Us. It's like we have a car. It's like we have a car. Then, I know, yeah. and then just fuck it. Flare, Everything goes fuck like it. It. <laughs> flare, up. flare up the arse. Only we we're, we're, we're the only we the only culture. Uh, see that. We're the only brand of people anywhere oh, that just. Uh, yeah, have two pounds of car then. <laughs> flare. flare up the arse. What? <laughs> what? Can you just explain to me why? Lodge, you know I get hyped just as much as anyone. If yeah. we win tonight, I'll take my Crocs off. I'll be putting beer all over my head. But I'm not going to put a flare up my arse. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm not. There's, you know, I mean, even for me, yeah. I'm just as hyped as anyone. But then. No, nah, people just take it to a new respect. level. Fuck, <laughs> ah, flare up the arse. I must. What, what makes me even more like scared and more like frightened about that is, isn't there a point where a flare explodes as well? Yeah, and also that hurt, <laughs> that, that hurts. Yeah, it's so painful. <laughs> flares, like that's flares, not. I've seen a flare. They're not, pretty yeah, thick. Yeah, that's not a fucking joke. That's yeah. so painful. It's not like a. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like a fun, crazy. He's thing probably going to go home after that as well. <laughs> he's going to be like walking, oh, waddling around. Bro. <laughs> Oh, just God. to think in your head, I'm going to pull down my shorts, bend over, and someone just stick a flare yeah. on my ass. That's <laughs> madness. But again, Whew. yeah, I, oh. yeah, it does make you realise how just, just, yeah, people are. Have you seen that that video of the the guy hanging off the double decker bus going around London? No, he's like hanging off like the wind mirror really? of a double decker <laughs> bus. And he's just like hanging off it. He's like holding on to it, and like the busman's just like driving around. And I'm just thinking. I again <laughs> I will be celebrating going mad tonight as much as anyone if we win. But would you jump on a double? I, I don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to die. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Like I don't want to like wanna be here. Yeah, I don't want to like lose an arm or like Can you just take it to a new like one up one upping people in it. Yeah. Uh, what can I do? Yeah. <laughs> like I sort of get the whole jumping on tables and yeah. whatever and pylons and stuff. Yeah, but, but nah. I just want to walk. I want to get out of the room. Especially in London. Yeah, bus, <laughs> bus lanes are crazy in London. No, nah, it, just, it, it seems nah. very like... It's another thing as well, like people climb to like the top of lampposts. Yeah, I know. And try and balance on lampposts. What, what are you doing? Why? Yeah. Like, I don't even get the enjoyment of that. <laughs> like, I don't even think... You could just die. Is it really that worth it? Like... You could just die. Honestly, bro, I saw a guy sitting on top of a traffic light the other day. <laughs> It's fucking snorty coat. What? Oh, fucking there was a police van below him. He sat on <laughs> the traffic light cheering. Snorty coat. Yeah. I'm just thinking about a bro. I see that. When you get down, <laughs> you're arrested. That's it. You don't. I don't know if you saw the video of, um, he was in Nottingham. It was like, it was loads of different videos they put on after the game last Wednesday. Right. Of everyone celebrating. And, um, I think it was in Nottingham. It was like, kind of like Bustler's Market style. There's loads and loads of rows of tables, like rows of, yeah, uh, benches and stuff. Yeah, and I was looking at this video and I was just like trying to spot people or what each person was doing. And there was this one lady; she must have been about forty or whatever. She was celebrating. I think it was when um, Kane scored after the penalty. Yeah, and um, <laughs> she just she was looking for stuff for a throw because obviously everyone else was just throwing beer yeah, everywhere. Random whatever. shit. Yeah. And this lady was like, she could not find anything to throw. So she went, like, she jumped over a table, like, over a, a six-seater table mm. to grab, I think it must have been a packet of crisps or something. And rather than throw it in the air, she just threw it at another, like, <laughs> <laughs> another fan in the face. And the fan just, like, fell over, like, just full of smacked him in the face. I was thinking, like... Anything she could have done just to find something. Like, that's how in the moment you are. <laughs> I'm going to inflict pain on someone. Bro! That's how excited If I, I blind this person, I blind this person. Yeah. No, but that's something. That's something, though, bro. This is what I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. I get as hype in the moment as anyone. But my limit is very much, I'm going to throw drinks over myself. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to bottle anyone. No, no. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> I'm gonna like I'll pour a glass over myself, no yeah. problem. Yeah. But I'm not gonna throw that glass. <laughs> yeah. That's glass, bro. Yeah. Like that's gonna fucking hurt someone, <laughs> potentially like damage yeah. someone. Yeah. 
for life. Like, that's not... And this is what I'm trying to say. There's that being a really, really passionate football fan, which I know I am, and then just being a hooligan. Like, I have no interest in, like, fucking shit up. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to pick up a chair and throw it out the window. Yeah. I'm not going to do that because yeah. what, what what's, 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 what's the benefit to that? That's, yeah. that's an awful idea from me. But people are going to... I know it's going to be happening. If we win, I know it's going to be happening. Mm. There'll be a lot of people locked up tonight. I actually yeah. feel sorry for the police if we win because I know what football represents to people. Mm. And I know when people drink... Mm. As you said, the, the, the people get crazy. I don't, bro. When I saw that picture earlier really with the flare, <laughs> I was thinking to myself, "Why?" Uh, especially that early as well. What time was that? Eleven. Yeah. Well, what time are you on now? So it's quarter to five now, bro. Yeah, that must have been. Yeah, that must have been around eleven, twelve o'clock. Jeez. Um, That's early for a flare in the arse. Like, I don't just think, bro. <laughs> Not that there's how, ever a good time. Yeah, for that. no. Not good time for, how drunk are you? As yeah. well? already. Oh yeah. Kickoffs not till eight o'clock. Oh yeah, people are people have been drinking since like. I mean, I've been drinking since twelve, but some people have been drinking since like. Yeah, but, yeah, but this eight. is what I mean, bro. <laughs> on the on the drain. Drinking since twelve. Yeah. Having a steady drink, enjoying yourself, doing yeah. the normal task of the day, and then drinking since yeah. twelve. Yeah. Burn pint for pint, oh, yeah. bro. Pint for pint till eight o'clock. I mean, don't get me wrong. Jeez. I know I could do it, but I wouldn't do it. Or oh, not before this. Not before this event. I, like, I want to remember every single detail of today. Do it. Maybe till about eleven o'clock. I want to remember every yeah, single no, detail. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like don't like, get me wrong, bro. When we go to the fucking pub in a minute and it's like five o'clock yeah. and you've got three hours. Yeah. Yeah, you'll start to drink more and more. You socialise and you get hyped up for the game. But that's that's three hours. Yeah, that's that's, en- that's enough. Like, yeah, yeah, that's enough time to drink. And then come game, that's it. I'll have one drink, maybe one at half time. Mm. Time, if that. Mm. Well, that's the thing. I want to be drunk in time for the game, mm. but not plastered. I just yeah. want to be, you know, I want to be fucking lively. Mer- you you merry, know? Yeah. yeah, I want to be lively. The banter's going to be flowing. Yeah. It's going to be fucking amazing. I can't wait. I think, like, to be at the point of, like, bro, you and yeah, you've like, been to the point of drunk where you're like, oh, my sleeping. fucking God. Yeah. 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 That's not no, enjoyable. No, no. Yeah. And I know we're going to get to the bub and there will be people like... But that's not enjoyable. Well. And what always heartbreaks yeah. me, bro, there's going to be people now who got tickets for that game yeah. later. They're not going to make it. Oh, yeah. And that, oh, yeah. like, breaks my heart just 100%. knowing that there's going to be at least one person that potentially oh, yeah. is going to miss out on, like, the greatest There'll be people there moment ever. watching it that won't remember it. And that's so scary to me, like... Yeah. I mean, that guy... That, the flare up is like, yeah, he ain't gonna make it. There's no, no way. way if you put a flare up your ass before lunchtime. <laughs> listen to what I'm saying. If you've got a flare up your ass before lunchtime, you ain't there for before it. You brunch, ain't there for eight o'clock. You're not there eight for hours eight. later. You'll be in oh, AE. If you ask your mentality, <laughs> bro, I have no idea. And also, what I think, bro, we talk about one up in. What what does the guy that wants to one up that guy do? Yeah. What does he do? Well, doing coke on a lamppost, apparently. What? I don't <laughs> know. I can't God. think of anything worse than the flat. What's worse than that, Lawrence? Yeah. Can you get worse? No. Apart from like just setting yourself on fire, <laughs> yeah. just putting oil on yourself and just say, "Bro, <laughs> light me up." <laughs> There's so many sketches to be had on oh, this. Just, <laughs> Just being yeah. that mate, just you know, yeah. bro, just seeing that. Imagine yeah. we what we come out of here in a bit, waiting for the taxi. We just see a guy doing that. Yeah. What, what are you doing? Are you, you're right. What <laughs> are you doing? Like, you okay? And the fact that just people like getting out the phone and recording. Oh, it's not yeah. smart one in my phone. What no. are you doing? <laughs> this is awful. This is one of the worst things I've ever seen. This is terrible. Oh, I need to see it. Oh, I you don't. I'm going to try and... Oh, I should have fucking tagged you with it. But then I just thought, no, I don't actually want... <laughs> want to share this. Yeah, I don't want to inflict this pain on anyone else. Um, you know what I have thought, though? Unreal, man. I know we were on about last week about, like, some some moments, regardless of whether you're a sport pers- like interested in a sport or anything like that, yeah. some moments you just can't miss. Like no. Some things that happen in the world no. globally cannot miss Le- Leeds no. events. No. I was thinking about this and I was thinking, oh, crap, yeah, like the, the men's final on the TV now of Wimbledon. Yeah. It's going to be on yeah. a few hours before the game. Yeah. And I'm thinking, yeah. this still does not yeah. come close no. to the Euros. No. Like, this is the men's final. This is okay. Italy versus... Uh, um, what? No, about Djokovic, wherever he's from. He <laughs> is uh, from... He's from... 
Serbia. Serbia, yeah. Yeah, it's Serbia, yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I was just thinking, this is mad, this is going to be like... I know what you mean. But the, I watch. I always watched every men's mm, finals. Of when course, hundred percent. Like 100%. serving at one hundred and thirty-six miles an hour. One hundred percent. Absolute top of the game athletes. Mm. Like, but it's took a back step. Yeah. Because in a year's time, you'll get to watch another final. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and the year after that. Yeah. And again, and the year after that, that might be England. Because look how many times I know. Andy Moore has come I play, so, or Tim Hemmings. Like. But, that, yeah, but that's the thing, Lars. You remember, people used to tune into Wimbledon. Yeah. English viewers used to tune in, even though he's not fucking English, he's Scottish. Yeah. But we used to tune in to see Andy Murray get to Wimbledon and win. Yeah. And then yeah. he won it. Yeah. I think he's won Wimbledon twice now. Yeah. And then the the, the novelty of it, it's, it's gone. Yeah. You still want him to do well. Yeah. But I couldn't tell you who he got knocked out to this tournament. I've seen that before. Isn't you it? know, that's why it comes I've, seen it. I've seen it. I've seen like, it. I was there first yeah. time it happened. It's Cheering not, it's not expected Come on, Andy. because it's amazing, but of course, you know, you've seen it. I've seen it before. We, this has never been seen, of course, by the majority of, course. of people. And that's another thing with today, bro. England have never yeah. been in a Euros final, we've yeah. been in a World Cup final, we've never been yeah. ever. We've never got to a Euros final, bro. So if we win it, we're part of history, and that. Is the beauty of it for me? Because I was actually thinking. Obviously, I've been watching like uh, I like follow like Wimbledon on Facebook, and some like old matches have come up and clips. And I've been thinking, fuck, this is the first. I have not. This is the first bit of tennis I've watched all mm. all, all tournament. Yeah, you've been so invested because in yeah, I've yeah. just not even. Yeah. I've seen it and I've been. Oh, maybe I should try and find out. Mm. You know, when when Roger Federer is on, I know he ain't got too many playing years yeah. left. Djokovic, he's in the fucking form of his life. I've just been like, no, I don't care. Mm. So it's in my head one minute and then it's just out of it yeah. because I just know I've seen these <laughs> yeah. players play. Yeah. I've seen them. I've seen amazing tennis yeah. moments. Mm. And there'll be more. And I know that. From all these players, there'll be great moments. There'll be more and more and more and more mm. because there's four major Grand Slams a bloody year. Like, uh, there'll be more it's moments. Not, it's just not got that magic about it. It hasn't. Like, it every, hasn't. every single post that England have put up on their social media, yeah. it's just all... Magic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Like the hearing from the boss, like yeah. oh, every interview, mm. every highlight, it's just like mm. it's magic stuff. Mm. It's it's fantasy mm. to be to be watching it now mm. and, and to be watching it like this, knowing that everyone is so together, it's hundred percent. Hundred percent, mate. What do you feel like your where will your nephews be watching it? Nephews, I think mm. my brother's going to be probably watching it at home, mm. um, and I know my sister, her husband, and, and their family. They'll be watching it next door. They've got a bit of a, an outside, mm. um, like bar slash shed kind of conversion mm. thing, which is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, for me, I, I feel like something like this. I, I can't. I couldn't ever watch at home. You can't. No. And again, obviously, people with families have worked completely different. No, of course. And I've been thinking about that. Like, you could never bring a, bring a no, child course, to the pub course. today. So, I mean, you like, wouldn't how could, how could anyway. You wouldn't. Could you, you wouldn't bring your kid to... to you what what age to. could you bring your kid to, to the pub today? You wouldn't... No, you wouldn't Unless want it. Unless it was like Unless a local, been, like, mm, quiet pub. But even still... I know there's people, are, are obviously, that yeah, yeah. they're going to do it. But I just... Nah, not not yeah. not in the sort of atmosphere I want to be in. <laughs> nah, there's no. the, the, the too much swearing, there's too much shouting, there's too yeah. much. Ye- nah, nah, yeah. it's not child friendly at all. Not for a final. Um, but that's why I always think again. It's so fascinating that they're just they're part of history and they don't even know it. Mm. And about the amount of kids today that oh, are dressed yeah. up and they've got yeah. their England kits on and they're like, yeah. especially the ones that are just sort of, you know, that age, that yeah. toddler age. Where and they're, they're like sort of just, you know, but they're just not going to remember it. Yeah. Like, it's so crazy to think that like, they're present right now in the moment, but they'll just, years will go on and they'll just think, shit, man, that's so crap that I can't remember that. Because it would kill me to think about, like, if England would have won a major tournament in, like, 2000, mm. when we were, like, four. Yeah. Because I'd just can't have remember. no and then, recollection again, of it. And it'd be no magic me. of today. True. It's completely to the majority of people in the UK. This has never happened before, no. or, or not remembered. No, isn't it? No. But the question: What's your prediction? I 
feel like England gonna win in ninety minutes, or it's gonna go extra time penalties and we do them. I have to, the thing is with me, mate. I know England have a better team. I know. I know the momentum's with us. We're at Wembley in front of sixty thousand plus fans. We've not been beaten once all tournament. We've conceded one goal all tournament. Harry Kane's now banging them in. The whole team's on form. Amazing options off the bench. My confident levels are high, bro. Not just because I'm, I'm hopeful and I'm passionate. Because they the should team. be. We've the got a fucking yeah. phenomenal <clears throat> team. We've mm. got a fantastic team. Yeah. So that's why I'm not as nervous as I was. Mm. I knew Wednesday was a massive test just with us being in the moment before and just getting past that sort of you know semi-final voodoo mm. and there was a bit of a yeah of course hurricane of course of course of course of course lack of confidence but of yeah course. like I say he's banging them in now and so everything yeah everything's come together mm. I feel like I always remember the, the commentators saying in earlier on in the tournament like we've won three games and we've not even we've not gelled yet we've grown into the tournament we've got better and better and better and better with each game and that for me is is everything because the momentum's there. We've just got better and mm. better and better. And even the last game, obviously conceding our first goal, being behind for the first time in the tournament, equalising nine minutes later. These aren't things England, past England teams do. Yeah, We crumble yeah. years ago. We yeah. crumble. Every single mm. tournament I've watched England go behind and we crumble. Yeah. Well, then we give another a goal away mm. and then we score our goal and then we fight hard late on to get back mm. in it, but it's too late. We yeah. crumble. But when that goal went on Wednesday, I took a deep breath. I went, yeah, we're good. Yeah. We're good. We got this. We're good. Mm. We're good because I know we're good enough. To, and that's the yeah. thing today, mate. It isn't a, we're not the underdog. Yeah. We're rightfully yeah. the favourite. Yeah. We can win, yeah. you know. Yeah. I'd 100% be going time. into this 70-30. Taking into account, again, Wembley, fans, home advantage, all that shit. 70-30, yeah. 100%. Yeah. So for Just me, on the team. Yeah, for yeah. me, within 90 minutes, mate, yeah. hopefully a, 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 a 2 nil or a 3-1. If not that, I see it going. I just see it going all the way. Purely because I think Italy, if it does go past 90 minutes, again, we'll have the advantage mm. with who we can bring on from the bench. We have more quality. Mm. So I feel like they'll 100% stink it out mm. in uh, extra time and they'll want penalties. Mm. I just feel like I was watching their squad the other day and they've been to extra time. I think they've been to extra time, extra time twice in this tournament. Mm. So I know naturally that's going to play on them because just sort of fitness of the players and also just with squad depth mm. I know coming off the bench we have too much quality for them their bench is, mm. is awful in comparison um, I just we're, we're favourites mate and we should go out and win it and I just feel like the boys have got nothing to lose bro it's the mm. first time we've ever reached a Euros final Yeah, they've made history regardless they've yeah. got nothing to you, to lose so mm. I think yeah and England winning 90 minutes or we win them on, uh, on penalties what about you? What are you thinking? Yeah, I definitely have the confidence I'll do it. Um, I'm thinking maybe 2-1, one, 3-1, one, something along those lines. I just, I just want them to stay focused, I want them to stay calm. And there's a lot of energy or, mm. you know, confusing energy in the mm. in the first half of the last game and I want mm. them to obviously had that talk at half time and calm mm. them down, got mm. them settled and I just want them to stay focused, stay confident in themselves. Um and yeah, bring it home. Because they can do it. Like I say, the, everything aside, that being at home, everything else aside, the team itself, they've got the they don't need luck. Mm. They don't need any of that. They don't need any anything. They, they've got they've got it to be able to win. So they just need to do it. They just need to prove themselves and show people what they're capable of because they're capable of it. That's it. <clears throat> that is it. That is it. <laughs> There's nothing left to do, Lawrence. We'll get drunk and enjoy the day. We're three hours away from kickoff. Um... <laughs> Shite. <laughs> Three hours. Three Woo, yeah, hours. I'm going to have to get a little bit drunk. <laughs> cause That's going to go really quick. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, 
Enjoy the day, guys. Yes, Enjoy guys. Enjoy the day. This is history. Be a part of it. Be amongst it. And uh, don't go too crazy. I don't want to see any of the videos of flares. <laughs> that's, that's not good. Look. That's <laughs> that not good ain't look. great, you, you can't look at that. And that, that kind of yeah. stuff goes viral. That, that's yeah. not hidden. That's got long-term media. health effects as well. Yeah. <laughs> that isn't just a today thing. Yeah. You're, you're really suffering with that. Yeah. Yeah, you think about think, it. You've got to think the fire comes out of one end. Where does yeah. the smoke go? Think about your life insurance, guys. Where does the smoke go? Yeah, you definitely... Um, life expectancy is definitely... It's going to be shortened after something like that, for sure, for uh, sure. You'll never be the same person after that. Rightfully so. Um, but, yes. Enjoy the day, whatever you're doing. And... Um, it's been an absolute pleasure as always. It has. Please like, please subscribe, and please share because it is coming home, baby. Coming home. It might come home. But most of all, enjoy the content, my friends. Vindaloo. Vindaloo, nah, nah. <laughs>